Ladies and gentlemen, as you all are aware of another root cause and a driving factor of the drought is the insecurity and the heightened conflicts in various parts of Somalia. <clears throat> Particularly the war against Al-Shabaab and other terrorist groups. Our government has vowed to free our people from the shackles of these extreme, extremist groups who impose inhumane exploitative measures on people, forcing them to forego their livelihoods and migrate to metropolitan cities as IDPs. It's worth mentioning that these people who find themselves to be IDPs today are from some of the most productive parts of Somalia, either in the rail-fed irrigation lands of Bayan Bakol or other parts of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, as we speak, local communities who, have, who are uprising against Al Shabaab's harsh measures and the Somali National Army, and the federal security institutions and personnel are waging a war against Al Shabaab in various fronts. And as of now, they have taken vast areas of land from Iran to Gal Gadud, from Jubalan to southwest state of Somalia. As you can all understand, considering the duration during which these um, people were under siege, it is only reasonable to expect that there, there is a need for stabilization programs and aid delivery to the newly displaced people. Ladies and gentlemen, and that on the, on the, those are the root causes and the drivers of the conflict. Of course, the lack of purchasing power and various other societal and economic factors contribute to the people that are in need of response and assistance now.